everybody, I'm Teresa, and this is day four in week 12 that I'm out of school. And I read you chapters 14 and 15 of Amelia Bedelia Goes Wild Yesterday, but those were the last chapters. So today, I will read you chapter one of Amelia Bedelia Shapes Up, book five. One. Heads up! Amelia Bedelia did not wake up and say to herself, Gee, what a beautiful day. I can't wait to look silly in front of all my friends. Amelia Bedelia would never wish that on anyone, much less herself. But that is exactly what happened. Doubly worse, it happened twice! After doing fractions all morning, Amelia Bedelia and her friends were ready for recess. When Miss Robbins let them out early, they raced to the playground. Last one to the water fountain has to add up ten fractions, except Amelia Bedelia, yelled Rose. Rose was making an exception for Amelia Bedelia because Amelia Bedelia was the reason they had gotten out early for recess. She had given their math teacher, Miss Robbins, a headache. Here's why. Amelia Bedelia said, Miss Robbins, at the beginning of math class, what if I give you a pie? Thank you, said Amelia Bedelia. I love pie. I'm not really giving you a pie, said Miss Robbins. Just pretend. Okay, said Amelia Bedelia. Miss Robbins continued. Now, suppose eight people want a piece. No problem, said Amelia Bedelia. I cut it into eight equal pieces. That's correct, said Miss Robbins. But what if you had served half the pie and then four more people showed up? I'd bake them cupcakes, said Amelia Bedelia. Pretend cupcakes. Pretend you can't bake, said Miss Robbins. Stick with the pie. What fraction would the others get. I've never tasted fraction pie, said Amelia Bedelia. Is it good? A fraction isn't a flavor, said Miss Robbins. It's a piece of a hole. But holes are empty, said Amelia Bedelia. I'm serving pieces of nothing. I mean the whole pie, said Miss Robbins. I'll give you a hint. Half of the pie is gone, right? So you'd cut the other half into eight pieces, eight sixteenths, which is equal to four eighths or two quarters. Then that's easy, said Amelia Bedelia. If I had, if, if half a pie is just two quarters, I'd spend 50 cents and buy another half a pie for the new people. Pretend you don't have any cents, said Miss Robbins. I don't have to pretend that, said Amelia Bedelia. Sharing one punny pie with 12 people makes no sense at all. The other kids had been trying not to laugh all along, but now they laughed out loud. Miss Robbins was not laughing. She was rubbing her forehead. Pretend you know everything there is to know about fractions, Miss Robin said with a sigh. I'll try this again tomorrow. I think we all deserve an early recess. This was too good to be true. No one moved a muscle until Miss Robbins added, I'm not pretending! Amelia, Dilly, and her friends took turns drinking from the water fountain. Then Rose and Dawn picked teams for a game of kickball. One after another, girls joined, Rose or Dawn, on the field until only Amelia Abdelia was left. It was Dawn's turn. 
and Amelia Bedelia began jogging toward her. I choose the water fountain, said Dawn. Amelia Bedelia stopped in her tracks. The other girls burst out laughing. That's mean, said Rose. You have to pick Amelia Bedelia. Why? asked Dawn. She makes mistakes. Last time we lost because of her. At least a water fountain won't goof up. I'll tell you why, said Rose. If the water fountain is on your team, then my team can't drink without your permission. The water fountain is for everybody. That's why Amelia Bedelia is for you. Amelia Bedelia's cheeks were getting redder and redder. She had never felt so embarrassed in her entire life. How could she come in second place to a rusty, leaky water fountain? Weren't they all friends? Had Dawn forgotten that she had feelings? Dawn shook her head. Then she... hand for Amelia Bedelia to come over and join her. Amelia Bedelia felt like running the other way, running all the way home. Instead, she nodded, put a smile on her face, and jogged over to join Dawn's team. Dawn put Amelia Bedelia in the outfield, the way, way outfield. Amelia Bedelia stood there by herself for the entire game, but right before recess ended, Holly kicked the ball with all her might. It soared up, up, up in a high arc until it was a tiny dot like a period at the end of a sentence. Oops, sorry. Period at the end of a sentence. Then it began falling down, down, down toward me like Delia. Catch it! Hollered Dawn from the pitcher's mound. Catch it and we win! Amelia Bedelia put her arms up and ran toward where she thought the ball would land. The sun was right in her eyes. She had to remind herself that it was just a red bounty ball. She was hoping to catch it, to catch and not fairy asteroid screaming toward Earth. She could do it. She could catch it! But it hurt to look into the sun's into the sun and try to see the ball. Her eyes were watering. Amelia Delia blinked, glanced at the ground for just a second. She glimpsed Holly rounding second base on her way home with the winning run. Boing! The ball hit the top of Amelia Bedelia's head so hard that it knocked her to her butt. The ball bounced back up in the air. Penny made a diving catch right before the ball hit the ground. Me. Holly was out. Game over. They'd won. Everyone ran to Amelia Billy to make sure she was all right. Dawn helped her up while Penny brushed the dirt and grass off her back. Awesome teamwork, said Dawn. Amelia Abdelia, you can be on my say side any day. Bye, everybody. Read you chapter two tomorrow.